Hey, welcome to the Page Family Homestead. Three weeks ago, we made a cranberry juice and the video was very well received by the community. Everybody was just like, no way, that can't work. It did. So, remember when we did our cranberry juice? I card will be there. <laughs> It's not even supposed to be opened until after, like into March. Well, we cheated last night. <laughs> I couldn't wait anymore and sampled one and oh my gosh, it's good. Now I'm gonna wait because it's gonna get better. So I thought, what can I do with these cranberries? They still had flavor. I mean, a lot of the nutrients and everything is gone, but they had flavor and there's still the fibers. Not a big enough job to do in the Cabela, not worthy of her attention. So we're going to do it in the air fryer. Let's see what happens and let's see what we get. Okay, so we want, I already had it set. There's the fruit setting here. You can see it blinking. And we set the time, or the, sorry, the temperature I wanted 135. It jumps from 130 to 140 because it's such a small unit. It's going to go quick. So I'm not going to make it go higher than the 130. I'm going to keep it there. And I got it set for eight hours, yeah, eight hours, 28 minutes, but I'll keep an eye. So let's see, put the light on. We're dehydrating cranberries left over from our cranberry juice that we canned. Now it was only three weeks ago. So I think it was January 2nd that we did this on. And I have here, don't open it until March. I cheated. It looked, look at it. It just, it looks so pretty right? It's beautiful. It's so rich looking. Uh, I wonder. So last night, we or yesterday, we opened a jar, Andy and I did. And that led to another project. Once we opened the jar, we noticed how they were very moist. Of course, the berries are absorbing waters and expelling their juices. And it was really mushy. And I, I just strained them for the juice. And then I put them on my... Uh, I put them on parchment paper. One tray you, takes almost as much, if not the same, from my Nesco. So I had two trays. I mean, they were all spaced out. They were big, right? I said it, as you'll see, I took a little video clip. I thought, well, they're going to be drained of most of the nutrients or whatever, or are they? Whatever, the flavor was amazing still, and the fibers. So I thought, what the heck? I'm not going to use my Cabela for such a small project, but I put it in the air fryer um, and I used the dehydration, the fruit setting. Typically, it would be 135. It wouldn't go to 135. It went from 130 to 140. I opted on the lower scale because it's such a small area. Even with the fan, it's going to dehydrate at a much quicker rate than the Nesco and or the Cabela. So I set it for eight hours, walked away, went back and looked at it at six hours, done. <laughs> Maybe a little overdone. I mean, these will powder nicely and be used on cakes and muffins. And I can also re, I think I'm going to powder them. I could also rehydrate and use with my other ones that I've done. So I was going to give them to the chickens and I thought, let's try it. And I'm glad I did. These are going to be a powder. Look at that. They'll, yeah, they'll grind. They got some snap. There's no moisture left. And these were wet. But <laughs> it's not supposed to be opened yet at all. This is my jar key lid opener. Look at that. Had a beautiful seal, too. This juice. Now, because of the grape juice, I know the longer it sits, the better it's going to be. Three weeks in, this is kicking butt. It's awesome. I've got other juices coming up this week for you, too. I mean, especially since I'm not discarding this, I'm actually using it. Um, you could use it even for baking. Throw it in, make a, make a, like a banana bread, but use a fruit bread instead, right? So you're not wasting all that neat stuff. Give it to the chickens. Share as long as you're not wasting it. Let that balance. Didn't know it was magic, eh? 
It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Whenever we see cranberries on sale, that's it. They're ours. I'm buying them. I'm buying them and I'm doing this. I'm going to be dehydrating, but I'm going to do a lot of this. This would be even good in a like a wine spritzer or salsa waters or I actually put a little bit of ginger ale in my last glass and it was really nice with ice, a little mint leaf. Don't have one. It's winter. Sit outside, relax after a day of gardening. What a refreshing drink, guys. And you know what's in it and you control the sugar. I'm going to leave a link for the video that we did on how to do this. I'm going to leave it here or at the end or in the description. I'm going to make it so it's really easy this to find because this is so good. So is the grape juice. Check them out. I want to thank you for coming along with us and watching us cheat and open a jar early. Can you imagine how much nicer it's going to be in a couple of more weeks, Andy? Yep, it's going to be really nice. <laughs> Thanks for being with us, guys. Remember to give us a thumbs up. Please share our videos on your social media. We have have a few friends that have started doing it for us, and we are noticing a difference. And it's so easy to do and free. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Please subscribe and see you tomorrow. Cranberries in February. The Page Family Homestead. Rhode Island Reds. Friday treat. Do you approve? Do you approve? What about you? Don't show me your back end. <laughs>